as an OPM. Yeah. What I thought. What's up guys, welcome to the GC journey. In this video, the GC receives a New York City clutch and flywheel. Now that I've reached the power goal I was aiming for with this car, my new goal is to make the GC more daily friendly, more of a daily driver. So there are a few things we need to address in order to reach that goal. The first thing being the twin plate clutch I'm currently running. Now don't get me wrong, this is a wonderful clutch for track use and launching the car. And uh, having driven my GC as a daily driver for a few months now with this clutch, I can tell you that I can live with it, it is bearable. But when you want to take passengers with you, um, give them a smooth driving experience, make them feel comfortable, with this clutch, not ideal. Not, uh, not my first choice. So, I'm now on my way to special performance where we will be performing the job. When I get there, I'll show you the clutch that I'm going for, why I went for this clutch, and uh, we'll move on to the installation. Once the clutch is installed, we'll go for a ride and I'll share my thoughts. So I'm here at special performance where we will be installing the clutch. What I went for is the Exedi single series organic stage one HD clutch. HD doesn't stand for high definition, stands for heavy duty. And uh, here is the part number for any of you uh, interested. Now, I, I don't know if you know, but uh, Exedi, like they have different options for each market. It varies between markets apparently. And so in the US, um, this was listed for the six speed, okay, for the 2004 STI, which is the gearbox I currently have. This clutch is rated to uh, 472 foot pounds of torque, which is 640 Newton meters. Yes, I memorized that for this video. I'm currently making around 450 Newton meters, so should be plenty enough uh, headroom if I want to upgrade in the future. So let's get on to installing the clutch and we'll move on from there. All right, so let's start with installation. Um, we'll start with disconnecting the battery. Battery disconnected. Okay, I think we're done with everything up here. So now uh, moving on to the bottom part. Flip the car. Right, so I'm just uh, heading off to the shop since um, the clutch and flywheel did not come with the bolts required to install it. So I'm just heading over to get the required bolts 
and uh, we'll continue with the work. Things are taking a bit longer than I anticipated, but slowly but surely, we'll get the job done. Good morning everyone, it's the next day and uh, clutch has been installed. We finished late last night uh, and I didn't want to film in the dark, so this is why I'm filming the morning after. First impressions right off, I can say this clutch is probably everything I was hoping it would be. There is one downside, which is the pedal effort. I don't know how many of you have uh, run twin plate clutches, but I I'd say it's like softer than stock. And now moving to heavy duty clutch, so uh, there's a lot of a lot of pedal effort involved. Now, if we ignore the pedal effort, this experience right now is amazing. That I can just get the car moving uh, under 2,000 RPM, which is amazing. Now, before with a twin plate clutch, I had to rev it up to like 3,000 RPM to start moving from a standstill, and even even then like the car would rattle, Ma mainly when the clutch was cold, but uh, basically all the time. So that's the first thing I'm very happy about. Look, look. Wonderful. Smooth. While we were under there, I didn't film this. This is the first time I've done a clutch install and um, the first half went pretty smooth, relatively smooth. The second half just kicked my ass and uh, I was like, I was not in a very good mood. And, <laughs> and so uh, I didn't film a lot of it. As you can hear on my voice, I just, I'm, I woke up and I was like, Ugh. While I was under the car, I noticed that the Torque Solution solid shifter linkage was so tight, it felt like it was seized in there and there was no play on one of the, one of the sides. I always felt the gears weren't going in as smooth as they should. And I thought, okay, that's probably probably how it's supposed to be. But after loosening it a bit, the gears are much smoother. They, they, they go in much better. So now the overall experience has improved. At this point, for what I'm aiming for, I couldn't be happier. Now I'm like in heavy traffic and, uh, you know, I have to use the clutch quite a bit. And yes, pedal, very stiff, but um, okay, that's, uh, I would say, the one compromise for having a very nice and uh, smooth clutch. I'll leave a link down in the description if you would like to get this clutch for your car. Next thing on the list that we need to address with this car in order to make it more daily, daily friendly is recirculating the catch cans, which from what I understand could be dangerous to the electronic throttle body. If you know otherwise, let me know. Or I will have to install a recirculating air oil separator. That might be better 
that might be a better option to keep the air and the oil all in the system and so whoever's in the car won't have to breathe everything so we'll see that's all i have for you in this episode so thank you very much for watching and until next time see you in the next one